That's right, Greg. Hey, we're going to stolen base class. I was on base, Ryan, one time in my 18-year <laughs> career. Take me through your setup and your process when you're on first and you're going to think about stealing the bag. First thing for me is trying to gather as much information as possible. I want to have an idea of the pitcher's time to the plate. Um, we'll always have scouting reports on what their average time to the plate is. Uh, there's certain pitchers, Johnny Cueto, Carlos Martinez, that have really quick feet, really good pickoff moves. I might need to shorten my lead, uh, maybe half a step. Um, also have an idea of who's catching, uh, have an idea of how they respond to balls in the dirt. Just try to be as prepared as possible. Uh, and then with my lead, I want to go off the back side of the bag um, and I want to shuffle off. I don't want to cross over. If you cross over, sometimes you can get caught uh, as you're trying to get off the bag and it's harder to get back to the base. So you want to shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. And then with my feet, uh, I want to be in line with the back of the bag so that I could dive back, but also straight in line with second base so that I'm not veering off to one angle or the other. I want my right foot to be a little bit back behind my left foot so it's opened up and also face a little bit towards second base uh, to give me an opportunity to open my hips and try to be explosive as I, as I get started. And then um, I don't want to be too wide with the base of my feet because I don't want to, if you're wider, you're going to take a drop step to get going. And the goal is to be as efficient as possible, especially for somebody like me. I'm quick, but I'm not a uh, Billy Hamilton or D Gordon fast. So I need to uh, try to stay pretty narrow um, and explode off the backside, back leg, stay low for a couple steps and try to stay straight in line with second base. Obviously I'm trying to get to the same place every time to not give away whether I'm trying to run or not. Uh, and I'm always trying to think that I'm going to steal the base because um, otherwise it'll look really obvious when you're actually trying to steal. Do you go in head first? Uh, almost never. I try, okay. not to, I try not to slide head first. I think uh, there's too many things that can go wrong. Break a hand, a wrist. Um, if a guy puts his leg in front of the base, which guys tend to do at times, you slide feet first, they'll get out of the way. Okay, um, or you'll knock them off the base, but if you slide uh, head first, then obviously you're going to end up hurting or jamming a, a finger or your wrist and you're not going to make it to the base. All right, if you're sliding the third, is it the same as the second you want, you're stealing a bag? Are you pretty much going in to one side of the base or the other? every time? Uh, when I'm stealing, I'm always trying to go to the back side of the base just because it's harder for them to tag you. It's a, it's a little bit further that they have to go with the glove. Typically, you guys are catching the ball here, so if I'm sliding to the front of the base, just an easier tag. If I go to the back side of the base, I'm in line with where I started my leadoff from first, and it gives me the best chance uh, to ultimately be safe. You've got this running. Could you help me out? I stole, I was on base one time. Could you help me out? <laughs> you missed your opportunity, <laughs> I, man. I did. You missed your opportunity. Hey, back to you, Greg. All things stolen bases right here with Ryan Braun.